Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. At 6 a.m. Eastern this morning, we launched our 19th annual 31 Days of Oscar Festival. And starting with a bang, showing all 10 of the films nominated for the Best Picture Academy Award for the year 1939. The year most people agree gave us more truly classic films than any other year before or since. Well, since then, we've shown seven of those 10 films, including Wuthering Heights and Stagecoach, Goodbye Mr. Chips, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Nanachka, and The Wizard of Oz. And we have three more to go. The next one being the film that went on to win the Best Picture Prize or all that incredible competition. Just a sampling of what we have in store for you this month. When every film and every short that we show is either an Academy Award winner or nominee. Well, we next bring you Gone with the Wind, masterfully produced independently by David O. Selznick and released by the mighty MGM Studios. Although many people are kind of confused about that. They think Gone with the Wind was made by MGM, but it wasn't. It was made by Selznick at his own studio, several blocks from MGM in Culver City, California. Now, the reason MGM was ever associated with this film is because David O. Selznick felt it was essential to have Clark Gable play the male lead in it. And Gable was under contract to MGM, and MGM wouldn't loan Gable to Selznick unless they got the rights to release the film. Then later, in 1943, MGM purchased all the rights to the movie from Selznick, who was willing to sell because he felt the movie had basically been played out and that it had no more earning potential. How little he knew. So it was MGM, not Selznick, that kept making a fortune off this movie and all the reissues and television sales that have come forever after. Another interesting thing about this movie, most people don't realize how quickly it won the eight Oscars it received after it had opened. To be eligible for an Academy Award, the movie has to play in Los Angeles. Well, the first showing of Gone with the Wind in L.A. was on December 28, 1939, just three days before the cutoff for the eligibility for 1939 Oscar competition. And it was just nine weeks later, on February 29th, 1940, it received all its awards. Amazing, considering that the Oscar voting membership in the LA area had only about eight weeks to see the film before marking their ballots. But here, from 1939, and starring Clark Gable, Leslie Howard, Olivia de Havilland, and introducing Vivian Lee, with a superior supporting cast headed by Thomas Mitchell, Hattie McDaniel, and Ona Munson. Here is indeed Gone with the Wind. <laughs> 